Hi, good morning everybody and welcome to Northwood Replay 2019. My name is Dale Robbins. Joining me this morning is uh, the athletic director in his 21st year at Northwood University, uh, David Marsh, as well as in, now in his fifth year as the head coach of uh, the Timberwolves, uh, Coach Leonard Haynes. As always, my color commentary partner uh, for uh, football on the radio and on the internet and here at Northwood Replay, Rich Violet. Coach, good to have you back as well. Great to be back, Dale. All right. Gentlemen, 2018 is now a historical reference, and there have been multiple changes that we're taking on. Happy New Year, by the way, academically Thanks. and athletically speaking, as uh -huh. the new campaign is underway and been practiced for. Our campus, uh, Dave, has certainly taken on some, some dramatic changes. We've done some facelifts, uh, some infrastructure, some mm -hmm. things that are so appealing not only to the returning athletes and the returning students, but our community, if they've not been to the wood in the last 10 years, they're missing a, uh, a diamond in the rough uh, out at Northwoods campus. Yeah, our campus, as you know, is spectacular. We mm -hmm. tell our uh, grounds and maintenance guys that all the time. It's uh, a beautiful place. Anybody that comes to visit or, uh, for the first time, whether it's visiting teams or people from the community or wowed by it and uh, and so we've seen a lot of new buildings on campus the last several years and athletically no different we've made a, a lot of great improvements Certainly and this yeah. year no no different when you come out to Hant Stadium for the football games uh, brand new video board that we're going to unveil on uh, against Tiffin on Saturday so we're we're really excited about that in the pre-testing that looks good and sounds good it sounds yeah, amazing it's, yeah. it's a nice, <laughs> nice asset is it not yeah oh yeah it's going to be great so yeah. really excited uh, about the game obviously we get you know, you start getting jacked up, especially on game game week, but excited about the, all the festivities that will be going on. It's going to be a, a great day at Northwood. Well, with Saturday being the home opener for our football team as they start their 2019 campaign, uh, it is about football for you guys because the weather's right now. Mm -hmm. Football is a season, so if Michigan now has five <laughs> seasons, spring, summer, fall, football, mm -hmm. and winter. So uh, what's kind of exciting is I know that uh, we're able to here on Northwood Replay uh, – for the season and postseason, we're able to spend a lot of time talking football. We're on the scrimmage line with mm -hmm. Coach and his players. Uh, this really is an introduction for Northwood's athletic programs, and they've been back on campus a month now. Mm -hmm. So even though this is highlighting football here on MCTV, mm -hmm. there is so much activity, and all of those seasons have really ramped themselves up for the start of this campaign. Yeah, th this is, for Division Two. this is the weekend where you can start competing. Right. So that's why our first football game is this weekend. But men's soccer opens up at home today against Truman at 3 o'clock. And uh, women's soccer hits the road for, uh, as does volleyball. Ohio games, right, for uh, yep. our soccer team. Yep, units. so um, they're getting rolling. Golf starts. Tennis is starting. We're hosting a, a huge cross-country invitational uh, the same day as a football game um, down by our uh, Fisher Fields. And uh, we have a, uh, a ton of high school teams coming for the morning event and then the college races will take place in the afternoon so it's it's going to be hopping at northwood on uh, saturday well we've talked a little bit about i'm going to let you get one in here because i i have a lead off oh yes. I, I just want to follow up on that i'm mm -hmm. seeing a lot of things with streaming online and yeah. on demand and things like that yeah. so i think correct me if i'm wrong a number of those sports are now available that way is that true yeah so we're we've just unveiled the northwood sports network it's kind of our organized version of what we've been doing we've we've streamed games the past several years but we have a new uh new provider that uh, uh we're able to now bring the games uh, people can watch uh free of charge if they go on line to watch of course you really want to come out to the stadium to watch the right. game but you're uh <clears throat> But that's going to be available for all our home events, for all the sports. Uh, GoNorthwood.com is our website, and there's a link up top that says Broadcasts, and you're going to be able to, to tune in to uh, whatever sporting event that you'd want to see. So it's... Yeah, it's pretty exciting and a, really a new thing for our fans. And, you know, I get that question all the time. Where can I tune in? Yeah. Where can I listen mm -hmm. to the game? Right. Where, how, how right. you know, so now it's easy. Yeah, that'll be, you can watch there. Of course, our uh, the football games will be broadcast on uh, WMPX, as always. Uh, 
you know, we've done that for a long time now. Right. And uh, so that's one way to do it. You can go watch online for the home games. There's live stats. Uh, you can listen online. Um, you, you, uh, if you want to see the Timberwolves, we made, we've made it very easy to do that. Yeah. In all of your, all of the teams, Dave. Uh, again, uh, 21st year as athletic director at Northwood University. Uh, all of the teams, especially in the last five, six decade, really, if you include baseball and our success in the track, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the changes in building of our football programs, uh, the success of our soccer teams. Uh, there has really been a great push on behalf of getting our teams in one of the most competitive D2 conferences mm -hmm. in the country, yeah. the GLIAC. We're competing and we're setting some milestones mm -hmm. uh, in that process. How is it exciting is that as a program, programs to see a university of our size compared to the state sponsor schools that have the numbers to pick from, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how exciting is that to be in the race and the hunt for some of this stuff uh, in your time here? Well, obviously, extremely. I mean, we're all sure. competitors and we want to we want to strive for championships and at the same time provide our student athletes with a great experience while they're here, help them develop as young men and women. Um, but obviously it's, it's very exciting to see our team succeed. I think the key to that is we have great coaching staff across the board. You know, we try to bring in high quality, high integrity people that priority one, obviously we want to compete, but all, a huge priority is to um, provide that great experience and mentor uh, young men and women and prepare them for for their futures and also to be get put in a put them in a position to to succeed achieve their goals while they're here so it's it's re it's been great to to get more success that way and right. I, I give really credit to our our coaching staff that uh, we're we're just extremely pleased with that I had an opportunity to come out to practice <coughs> with Dale earlier in the week and Away from practice, I'm I'm standing on the turf, and it's wonderful turf. Mm -hmm. It's not like the you got down and wallered on it. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. yeah. Just and back. then I look over at the scoreboard, and then as I'm driving into the campus, it's a beautiful campus, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking to myself, Northwood's got it going on. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to come to a facility like this? It's a Class A facility, great location, great community, great coaches. Great education, yeah. as as I know, because yeah. my son graduated yeah. from there. So did mine. So, mm -hmm. it, what a what a what a great opportunity for a young individual to come and grow. Well, that's what we are trying to achieve, and yeah, I, I would agree with you. You know, the thankfully our our administration is is behind it all, and we do a lot of fundraising to make these improvements happen and to to make it a beautiful environment and a great experience and gonna, like you said rich you're going to get a great education, great education. For sure. i agree why wouldn't you want to come exactly North? right yeah. cool question yeah. for you coach throw it your way here in this process uh recruiting is takes up more of your more of your uh year than the actual season uh, you guys pretty much hit the ground running a week after uh, mid-November ended in 2018. Bringing in potential recruits, uh, having your coaches go out and now promote with uh, facilities like Northwood now provides and competes with some of the big houses, Does that, I don't want to say it makes your job recruiting easy because it ain't easy as I'll understand, uh, but is that is that is that a hand, is that a card in your deck that says here's what we're providing for athletics and uh, you know, conditioning and training training and how does that impact your coaches uh, well it's, it makes recruiting a little bit easier because okay. now you have uh, the tools in which these guys can improve so when they need to go inside when it's snowing outside or now we have an indoor facility they, they can go and train in right. uh, you know our weight room you know we went from a really small weight room to now we have a nice, really big weight room where guys have opportunities to go in there and get better. So it's about the development of the student athlete, you know, on and off the field. Right. And so having the facilities, uh, you know, really aids and help in hopefully getting some of these student athletes to come to Northwood. So it's a big plus, big bonus. Obviously, recruiting is is uh, it's an arms race now. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the biggest and brightest 
diamonds and so it's so a lot of the kids appeal to that but at the end of the day I always says about the people and you want to surround yourself with the people uh, that you're going to be around uh, for four or five years it's going to have an impact in your life right and I want to note in the couple minutes that we have left in the front end of this uh, uh, Northwood replay 2019 uh, it's amazing what we do on the field it's more amazing to me where we're at with our athletes in the classroom and what they're doing beyond the classroom uh, in the community and where we're at with our GPAs and our kids who are students first student athletes that's by that's by design is it not we we do some incredible things well that's the best part of the job really is you get to yeah. be ar around uh, amazing uh, young people who are uh, driven who have a uh, purpose and vision and uh, it's very inspiring you're gonna meet later in the show uh, Dimitri Abro on our football team who is a uh, a great example of that right. just a uh, great student uh, uh, tremendous player great leader and uh, guys like that uh, make a job pretty fun sure. oh yeah, yeah one of my favorite football players <laughs> for sure he's still got to perform that's right so uh, another going to something you said earlier Dave is that uh, uh, you know if if you're not coming on if you're waiting online for these it's available, but if you're not coming to campus to do this, talk a little bit about game one here yeah. on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Taste of football. Mm -hmm. We're also coming back for our community alliance for uh, our, our youth success program. Right. It's a ben benefit. Talk a little bit how we're bringing and inviting Midland onto campus throughout the throughout the year for some of this stuff. Well, a lot of those things all tie into our Go Mad uh, philosophy. Make, It'll make a, a difference. difference. And, you know, it's the 22nd year that we're supporting uh, Community Alliance for Youth Success, where we give a portion of our ticket proceeds to this great organization that impacts uh, young people in our community. Right. And at the game, we have, we last year have a new tailgate area that's just been a blast and a, a great way to get ready for the, the games over there. It's just a vibrant atmosphere, uh, really exciting. For the Taste of Football, we have a number of local restaurants come um, before the game uh, around noon about to kick off where fans can get food samples for free. And then during the game, we have a lot of promotions and activities in addition to the great football that you're going to see, um, but just to make that a fun environment. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't been to a Northwood game, fans uh, really should come on out and uh, check it out. You're going to have a great time. Well, I think that uh, that what I'm excited about is we are uh, on our record books. Everybody's o o, mm -hmm. you know, as of this week. And uh, what's always amazing to me is the uh, the building and growth process, and all of our young people on campus, our athletes, and in the classroom as well. But uh, taking taking young people in a world that uh, will throw a lot of things their way, having them trying to make decisions that may be right or wrong, it's our leadership at the university level, and I'll cite you two guys as being perfect examples of that is uh, giving these young people an opportunity to succeed in more than just what the world's asking it's what the expectation of uh, their leadership is is exampling to get these young people into the next chapter so and Dale before you wrap segment one I just want to say Dave thank you for allowing me to be part of it yeah. it's uh, been a lot of fun coach thank you for your openness and oh. and letting me uh, kind of work with you uh <laughs> just uh it's it's Absolutely. it's great to uh to you know be part of it and well, you brought one of my all-time favorite players uh, well, your son to Northwood, yeah, for sure. yeah, that's you know i yeah. just i just love the program yeah. and i love the people and thanks well, for letting me be he's a better well. dad now nikki v is yeah. a better dad <laughs> since having been since a all right. yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, sure. there's a plug for nikki v <laughs> yeah. all right awesome this has been right. great thanks so yeah. much thanks for having me you and me is going to be back but let's get a player in here we're going to go to the d side of the ball and get an attitude about that defense that you uh, <laughs> so strongly promote and we'll do a lot of things All right. that's one of them <laughs> dimitri abros he's up next stay where you're at this is northwood replay 2019 it's great to have you along
Hi, welcome back everybody. Northwood Replay 2019, one of uh, Rich and I's favorite part of this program, and that is uh, we actually get to see without a helmet, shoulder pads, and shin guards on, uh, we get a chance to go on this side on the defensive side. We are going to work with an X and uh, talk to uh, one of the leading uh, defensive uh, players, uh, defensive back, Dimitri Abro. And Dimitri uh, in his fifth year at Northwood University, currently part of the MBA program as he uh, strives for his master and uh, originally from uh, uh, Macomb, Dakota High School. Uh, you're in your fifth year uh, playing at the Wood. It is great to have you back, young fellow. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, guys. All Thank right. You. Great to have you, Dimitri. 20, uh, 2019. 2018 uh, is off the books. Mm -hmm. A lot of lessons learned yes. last year in a three and seven campaign on yep. the field. Tell me a little bit, if you will, Demetri. You told a story about a year ago. I had a chance to hear you speak at uh, one of our Northwood uh, uh, luncheons, and uh, you didn't end up in Midland, Michigan, because you dreamed all the while as a kid going to Northwood University yeah. and playing football at the Wood, and mm -hmm. and uh, it was kind of by happenstance, and uh, or at least by uh, it's not what you know. It's including that, but it's also a little bit about who you know. Mm -hmm. You had a, had a pretty unique situation based on some leadership you high schooled with and a friend of a friend. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about that, how you yeah, got to so, Midland. Yeah, um, so heading into my senior year, I really didn't know if I was going to play college football or not. You know, I kind of just told myself, let me focus on my senior year. Let me do what I can do for my team. Right. Um, lead them in any way that I can. And then well, I'll just let the chips fall where they may. You know, I'll let the rest take care of itself. Uh, fortunately, I had a good, really good year. And I told myself, like, I don't want to stop playing football, you know. So um, hours on top of hours, days on days, you know, I was emailing coaches all over all over the country, sure. you know, just because I wanted that shot. Um, I'm obviously not tall. I'm not the biggest kid, but, um, you know, and I didn't look too good on paper, but I knew I had the heart to play the game at the next level, you know. Um, so I didn't really get any emails back or anything, you know. Uh, so I saw Northwood. I thought, let me email these guys. And. Um, Coach Haynes reached out to me. Um, they were really the only school who took a gamble on a kid from Macomb who wasn't the biggest, fastest, or strongest, but they knew that um, he had the heart to play the game, you know. And, and I came to Northwood as a walk-on. Uh, wasn't promised playing time, wasn't promised any money, but I worked very, very hard to, to, to get where I am. And um, it's really a credit to my coaches and my teammates. You know, I can't sit here and take all the credit because football is not a one-person game. You know, it's, it's a team game. And if it weren't for my coaches trusting in me, believing in me, um, I wouldn't be here today. If it weren't for my teammates doing their jobs, um, helping me out, pushing me day in and day out, I wouldn't be here today. If it wasn't for my family's support, I wouldn't be here today, you know. So it's all a credit to what the people around me have done for me, not what I've done for myself. Awesome. I love the fact that you said it's all about heart. I used to teach that for years and years and years with our football team because it is all about heart. Mm -hmm. It's the heart for the game. It's the heart to, to be the best. <clears throat> you had a great year last year. You led the team in tackles, interception, block, kick few sacks I can think of a few more things yeah. and um, you're you are one of my most favorite players to watch because you just <laughs> you just go to the ball yeah, he does. you yeah. really get to the ball yep. and uh, I got to come out and watch uh, practice I watched watched your footwork yeah. and the secondary drills mm -hmm. phenomenal yeah. thank you uh, d big difference between you know yours yep. and maybe the, the young guys right. coming in yeah. so um, w with that said um, who you're gonna you're gonna play it up this year? Mm -hmm. I, I know you are. Yep. Who are you mentoring? Who do you see coming up? Mm -hmm. Who do you like in the secondary? Yeah. Or so the, um, on, on the D. Just to touch on that as well, um, we our, our team actually voted on captains the other day, and I was very blessed and fortunate enough to be chosen as the only defensive captain. So, wow. um, good choice, I, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And. I think those younger guys really look up to me, so I really have to set that example, you know. So if I'm coming to practice every day, high energy, high focus, you know, intense, they're going to feed off that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I've always been a, a lead by example type, not really vocal all the time because you don't need to be because right. if people see that you're doing the right thing, see that you're working hard, they're going to want to mimic the same things that you're doing because you've had success doing that. And everybody wants to be successful. You know, nobody wants to lose football games. We put way too much time and effort into what we're doing to lose games. And, um, you know, obviously, if anybody ever needed some help, you know, with footwork or film study or whatever it may be, 
I'm there for them, and they know that, you know. And and it's, um, I was having this conversation with Coach Haynes the other day. Um, being chosen as a captain means far more to me than any statistic ever will, hmm. because when I look back and and I tell my children someday that, you know, I played college football, that's the first thing that I'm going to tell them. I'm not going to tell them that I led the team in tackles or or any of that stuff. It's 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 leadership that that I'm going to take away from this experience. Outstanding, outstanding. Well, Dimitri, this time goes way too fast because actually, uh, talking with Rich early, he thinks he wants to take you home just so we can sit around the living room <laughs> and talk football because you are one of his favorites of all time. Number nine, uh, five-year senior DB, uh, defensive captain of the Northwood Timberwolves 2019, Dimitri Abro, and uh, we are excited to get you in about. 51 hours. Can't wait. In the coin toss. Can't wait. We're going to call it, call the win. Call, yep. call the win right, right from the flip. <laughs> and we are excited for 2019 and to see you go yes, and lead. Yes, All sir. right? Yes, sir. Dimitri. Thank have you for a, having me. Have a great season. Thank you, sir. All Appreciate right. it. We'll be back with Coach Haynes, and we'll go right to the head end of the general of guys just like this on the field. We'll talk to Coach Leonard Haynes right after this. Hi, welcome back, everybody. Northwood's Northwood Replay 2019. Dale Robbins, coach Leonard Haynes of the Northwood Timberwolves, and my partner Rich Violet. Uh, coach, time flies when you're having fun, and it yeah. is flying. And yeah. we got some football to talk about That's in right. about 51 hours. We'll flip a coin and decide if we're going to be on one side of the line of scrimmage or the other. Tell me a little bit, coach, about uh, uh, your experience coming out of summer ball. You've had your guys back in camp for uh, a month or so now. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you see in this club for 2019 that uh, not comparing but where are you at from 2019 versus where you finished a year ago with your club well I tell you this one thing is I'm really excited about this football team and what I mean by that is a lot of youth on this football right. team but yet some experience and these guys play with a lot of energy at practice you know I've been in camp almost a month I tell you what these guys have held it together mentally they've uh, they're coaching each other they are just an enthusiastic group of guys to be around. So uh, my thing is, I, I always I've told some of our leaders, hey, I'm gonna let you guys just be who you are. Neat. And obviously, uh, under my direction, you can't cross the line. Right. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I want these guys to be who they are and just go out here and have fun, man. And um, but the the feeling that I get from this football team is very very positive, and and I like the direction we're going. Does that impact your coaching staff as well? If they see your guys fired up, they're everybody's energetic. Or well, what? it has to start somewhere sure. at the top, but you know, the coach got to be energetic too. The coach right. got to love what they're doing. All our coaches love what they do. Uh, you got to be passionate about this, and and uh, it's definitely a blast being around this football team and these coaches. Fun. Yeah, it was great to get out to practice, mm -hmm. as we mentioned earlier. Got to see a lot of energy. Yeah. Got to see the coaching staff yeah. up close and personal. Seen a lot of the drills. Yeah. Good stuff. Before we get to the coaching staff, last year versus this year, a couple of things that you really want to focus on and improve on. Uh, is there something that sticks out that? Uh, well, there's a lot of things, you know, as you know, coach, uh, the simple things, you know, taking care of the little things, being a more disciplined football team, you know. Uh, I always preach our guys, the disciplined football teams are the ones that win, and the hardest working football teams will win. And you can add execution to that as well. So we just have to execute better, take advantage of situations, and take care of the little things. We have to be very detailed oriented, and our kids understand that. And that's one thing that's kind of radiated throughout camp and, and obviously throughout the whole year because we know we're not the biggest of all in the GLIAC, but we have to be some of the hardest working players mm -hmm. Uh, in the country. And you certainly have that with guys like Dimitri. Yeah, Perfect sure. example yeah. right there. <clears throat> Quick question for you. Coaches, yeah. you got some new ones yeah. staffed up this year for them. Let's take yeah. a look yeah, at it. Yeah, we coach. got four. I tell you what, I'll start with Coach Gonzaga, who's actually been at Northwood. This is his second right. time around. He was a defensive coordinator back in the day here for about five years. And in 2004, helped us win a, a championship, a GLIAC championship. We're glad to have him back. You and back. Part of our secondary. He's our pass game coordinator uh, as well. Antoine Robinson, we got him out of Wayne State, so some of the some of the GLIAC blood there. Sure. But uh, he actually played at Wayne State, and a good young up-and-coming uh, football coach. I love his uh, enthusiasm for the game, and he's really caught on to what we're doing here and, and what our culture's about. 
Arthur Ray, we got him out of Illinois. He was a high school head football coach. Uh, first year in college, but he's been around the block. He's played at MSU, had a little stint in the NFL. Uh, he's got an incredible story that you guys maybe hear about one you, day. You but shared about that. He's, uh, Arthur Ray's a, a great, uh, I believe he's going to be a great office line coach for us. We'll lose our local, <laughs> lose, local, local, local man. <laughs> now, obviously, Coach Luzar was the head coach at a couple spots, you know, recently uh, out at old, uh, uh, the Euro stuff. Bullet Creek. Bullet Creek. 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 Bullet yeah, Creek. Let him go. We'll help yeah. him. Leo, <laughs> yeah, help me out of that because he's been in a couple stops. <laughs> yes, he has. Yeah. <laughs> but he's back at Northwood, <laughs> he, uh, back uh, in the fold here at Northwood. and love having him around. He can bring us great energy, always smiling, always keeping me on my toes, and uh, love to have Will here. What's well, kind of interesting, you've talked about uh, your coaches. Some are young and fairly new at it. You've also introduced some veteran coaches, been here or been other places and done it. Very similar to the team you guys have put together. Oh, yeah. You have such a young, leadership-laden team because all of your guys the last couple of years, next man upped, and you've had it at every role, it seems like. Uh, your guys build almost from the day they arrive at camp for the first day, the growth that is seen in the, in the two or three and uh, four and five-year foot playing careers, but your coaching careers uh, also carry that same resemblance, do they not? Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, our coaches is from different spots. You have Coach Luke, who's been around the block many sure. times. Been a head co he's been a head coach in college for, for I think, 18 years at one yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, coach Gonzaga, again, he's been a defensive coordinator. You have Dave Arnold, a senior, who's been a pro coach, a big-time Division been one with coach. the forever. He's been with Even the world forever. And, uh, yeah, his son, EJ, special teams coordinator. Right. And quarterbacks coach who does a phenomenal job. So those guys been around. You got Zach Reitma, uh, our offensive coordinator. And uh, so uh, we've got a good array of mix of there with different ages and youth. And Now, you guys get together. And, you guys get together, Coach. The first of every year, and you put together that preseason coaches poll. Yeah. Here it is for folks to look at. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wood gets yeah. a number eight, a number eight rank, and they're set the big dogs at the top. Oh but yeah. It all comes to Saturdays, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it all comes out on Saturday. You know, I think a lot of these are based off of what you've done last year, right? And the previous year, what people may think you could be this year. Uh, I've always, whether we pick one, four. Eighth, I don't really put a lot of stock in the polls, yeah. and I think you know it's about what we do now. And at the end of the day, it's about how we finish mm -hmm. this year. And you know, uh, obviously they picked us eighth and out of nine. You know, obviously that's something our kids gonna feed off of, and and again they should, they should because that just shows you how everyone else views you and exactly. what type of team you're right, 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 right. We and definitely know what we're building here. Yeah, like you said, I mean, last year was the injury bug. The stats mm -hmm. were lower. They're, mm -hmm. they're, everybody's looking at that, picking numbers. Exactly. I look for a big year this year out yeah. of Northwood football. Your opener, Tiffin, what do we expect the boys from Ohio to show up with? Well, Tiffin's a very good football team, bringing a lot of guys back. Yeah, the quarterback is back, Watson. Um, yeah. They got two running good backs who thought were very good, very capable backs. Um, and they got some firepower on offense. And defensively, they lost a few guys. But, you know, for the most part, a lot of their guys are back in place. And so it's going to be a good football team and coming in to Hand Stadium. And so our guys got to come out ready to play. And the one thing we've talked about, you know, it's been a theme of our team is uh, well, number was two things: just being all in and but concentrating on us. Just the word "us," you know, it's kind of a special teams thing, but it's kind of embraced by all the whole team. It's just worried about us taking care of what we need to take care sure. of and control what we can control and not get so focused on who we're playing and just let the process take, take care of itself. I'm sure with that first game, it's a little tough because you have a new coaching staff. You don't know for sure what they're running. Right. You know, so you got to prepare for everything, correct? Yeah, that's a great point. New coaching staff is coming to the door, so you, you kind of have an idea. But at the end of the day, we just got to be prepared for everything. Yeah, prepared. Well, come 1 o'clock this Saturday, September 7th, we will be about two and a half hours away from the conclusion of what that's going to curtail. A season opener, Northwood University at Hans Field. Uh, everybody's invited, and we ex uh, are expecting Midland, Michigan to show out in good numbers. We're going to have a little taste of football. That's always a nice snack before the game. Uh, we got the Community Alliance for Youth Success. It's a benefit game with proceeds going back to the youth. 
uh, in the Midland community. And more importantly, you are going to unveil the Timberwolves of 2019 and surprises probably is there going to be things that you are working on now that will evolve come second half of that football game, come third quarter in your coaching style and your, your staff now working together with your students. I'm excited as I always am, Coach, and uh, this is an absolute time. I'm with you. Pleasure and honor to be too, a part of what's coach. going on here. Good luck this Great. year. Looking right. forward to a, a good time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Listen, all season long, Northwood Replay 2019 right here. <laughs> we record them on Thursdays. Podcasts, we do that for you. It's on the radio, WMPX 1490 AM, and they're an FM frequency now. Uh, 107.7 is the highway. You'll catch Northwood football, FM and AM on the web, on YouTube, podcast. We're everywhere. Thanks to Coach Leonard Hayes. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy you turning in. Have a great season. Go away mad. Go make a difference.